so this 3d animation you can easily able to have all you have to do is to use this motion frame okay just come here if you want to know how they have achieved that let's open this one go to the code and take the reference from here and you can add so as you can see you can easily able to drag this element wherever you want and you can leave it it will be there it will be there and you can easily able to have this functionality using this on tag carousels so which is coming from this library all these how all of you hope you guys are great and welcome back once again so in this video you will find out the best library for adding animation to any web applications so if you are a react developer then this is the video for you in this you can easily able to find that what library you have to pick if you want to add animation into your website i'll provide the link of this library in the description so you can click and you can check everything from your end but let me give you a quick overview that what are the functionalities what are the api calls you can make and how you can utilize this frame motion to add animation to any single element on your web application okay so this is the home page you can read everything from your end it's a open source library for adding animations and if i scroll down they have a beautiful examples which explain everything about this library so here they have examples that how you can add animation animations to your elements so for example imagine that this is a div and if you have a div in your website and you want to add animation to that maybe it could be a navigation bar it could be hero section or it could be a video element you want to add animation on that so this is how you can do it so here they have set the property so this is how you can denote I'll, I'll talk about each of this so like you can check here I can't do anything but from here you can be able to adjust the y-axis and the x-axis you can increase the scalability and decrease it you can do the rotations and all the changes are taking place here all you have to do is to copy this piece of snippet and add into your div so let's come down and let's check the other animation which they have so here they have another example so if i click on this a nice pop-up message box we can get and this is the code if you want to get with the same design all you have to do is simply copy this piece of code and you have to simply add your in your react okay if you click on this you will have this pop-up if you click on this you will have you will have this pop-up if you click on this you will have this pop-up so as you can see how smoothly these animations are taking place and here are the couple of properties which we're going to explore that okay so i don't want to bombard it with a lot of information so let's scroll down let's explore other examples and this one is the fun part you most of the time you have seen in a web application that there is a draggable elements so maybe it could be a navigation bar or it could be a some sort of forms or a downward add that one easily draggable so you can create that kind of element as well so as you can see you can easily able to drag this element wherever you want and you can leave it it will be there it will be there and you can easily able to have this functionality using this on tag carousels so which is coming from this library all these changes are happening on real base all this data you can easily able to manipulate and fix this wherever you want or you can have this floating animations so this is the one and here they have given the examples for the mobile that how you can use it for mobile application let's come down and here they have some simple animation examples so let's talk about this so if i click here you can able to see that like it's scaling in size if i click you will have this animation let's click on this okay on mouse over you can easily able to have you can easily able to drag this and this will on scroll so this div will grow and increase in size if you click on this you will have this nice animations so these are the couple of examples which they have already demonstrated on their home page which is absolutely great and they have a beautiful documentation so let's go to the api documentation and let's check that how we can utilize that okay and the best part of this frame motion and about their documentation is that they have divided their entire documentation in categories so if you want to go with a 3d component you can easily able to get all the properties related to 3d so that's all you can easily able to find so let's click on the introduction part and here you can easily able to read that what type of calls you can make on their library so get started with motion and learn by exploring interactive examples so overview they have explained here and if you want to animate or add any kind of transition this is how you can do it so all you have to do is to take this motion then you have to take the div on which you want to add the animation and here you have to set the property for the animation so right now it's only adding the animation on the x-axis 
so it will move on the x-axis if you want to add an y-axis it will move on there as well so they have given a simple example to make you understand let's scroll all the way down so here they have given another example for the draggable element so where you want to move your div so with this example you can easily able to move your div on on x-axis as you can see left is will go to minus 100 and right it will go to 100 axis all you have to do just simply drag the element and you will have the animations you can check everything all the properties which you can able to call on their library they have explained right down here so you can check everything there are tons of things and let's go to the examples okay let's come here so here you can able to see all the examples which they have demonstrated on their home page so if you want to have a something animation like this you can get it very easily so this is first you have to install their api like this is the api you have to install and this is how you can make the comment if you want to add animation like this all you have to do is you can go to this code and simply have a look that how they have created this animation so what are the dependency what are the packages they are installing so these are the general packages all we have to do is to get this packages and let's open the file and here you can able to find the source code so if you want to check the styling you can able to check all the styling which we have used in that body element and here is the index.txt which you can call it app as you can see app and here you can easily able to find the main file so here they have defined the property so what they have done like on the button so initial stage is going to be one but when someone over on the button it will have a scalability point a scalability of 1.1 and when someone press that button it will go 0.5 so this is how you can easily able to call this use the library so first you have to install the library and then here you have to use this motion okay so this will come with the package when you install this package you will get this tag and then you have to use the div on which you want to add animation and here you can easily able, able and here you can easily able to add any kind of event so here this animation is strictly on the base of on click so you can define all the properties which you define generally on react okay all you have to do is to define all these variables low tab so here is a tab and this is the csv file so you can check everything from your end so let me give you some more examples so here is another one you can come here let's scroll this down and you can check all the codes all the things which they have written and from here okay let's close this one and here is the main thing i use this piece of code in my many application as you can see beautiful animations on this navigation so if you want to use the same kind of styling all you have to do is simply pick the code so must tell you that just give a try it is one of the best open source library which you can use for adding animations and you know that how hard it is to write all those codes and it take a lot of time to get the same styling the kind of animation you want to have so let's go to the component section here we are in the component motion sections it will take her on the motion section and here you can able to find all the snippet code snippet on the element copy this each of the snippet and test on the div okay what kind of styling you are getting you can play with the properties transition x transition y transition z scalability on different scales or different directions and here is also example of 3d so like if you want to add a 3d animation to your so this 3d animation you can easily able to have all you have to do is to use this motion frame okay just come here if you want to know how they have achieved that let's open this one go to the code and take the reference from here and you can add whichever element you want to add okay so let's close this up and let's expand this one let's close this one and here you can play so this is the 3d animation which you can add you can easily able to track change the color and do a lot of things come down here and they might have given some more examples so let's come to this camera layout and here you can able to find the layouts okay this one is looking beautiful so if you want to have a div something like this to animate you can do that let's come to accessibility here you can come and here you can check all this snippet okay this code snippet which you want to add so this is one is for the sliders and this one is for bundle size so there are so many things you can do a lot of things you can create beautiful animation using this library so let's come there and let's explore a little more so in the utility what they have 
let's see i have never seen this part so here they have a special tag which you can use to add animations so i don't want to extend this video too long if you want me to make a dedicated video on each on this frame motions that how you can utilize it from scratch how to add into an element and how to get a styling to how to animate anything with this motion frame then do leave me in the comment section so i'll definitely make a complete tutorial where i will explain about all the variables all the properties in a live website examples that how you can add this and use it in your in your react project okay so hope you have found this valuable if you have any questions any doubt leave that in the comment section and i must tell you to give a try and try to find out from your end there are tons of library in the market which you can use it for adding animation but this one's i stumble upon and i thought that let's make a video on this so this one is really quite impressive because i use in many of my projects so i thought that let's talk about it so do leave in the comment section if you want to have a brief complete tutorial about this library so i'll make a tutorial on that for the time being have a great day